Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys. I haven't seen you guys in forever. And to be my Us movie review, not even just a movie review, um, it's just gonna be me rambling about it, you guys, because I saw it on its opening weekend. I was in New Orleans with my friends, and um, actually it was me and Dee's two year anniversary trip, and then my friends ended up being down there the same weekend. So of course, you know, we had to meet and turn up. But we ended up seeing us and here is what I think about it. All right, so make sure you guys comment down below after this video and let me know what you think about us because my mind is still blown. Like my mind is still, and I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm like coming over um, food poisoning. Y'all, it, it was rough. Um, so yes, I saw it on the opening weekend in New Orleans um, at the Canal Theater. Uh, the Canal Shops Theater, whatever. I think, uh, I think it's the Canal Shops Theater. The movie theater on the Canal Street. It was very interesting. First off, I just want to say the music. Baby, who did that soundtrack? I need to become a supporter of theirs because, honey, that soundtrack was popping, okay? The intro song was off the charts. The uh, remix of I Got Five on it, which is a classic. And if you know me, then you know I live for 90s music. So when I heard that, I was like, oh, this is my jam. And then I heard the little, every, every, the little remix, and I was like, okay, Jordan, with the remix, okay, with the throwing the, you know, the scary horror music on the classic track. I was like, come on, Jordan. Yes, I loved it. Like, I love the music. The music just kept me, like, in tune with it even more. So that part, hands down, A plus all the way. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful music. The movie itself, y'all, I'm still confused. Like, I'm still confused. Like, when I left Get Out, I was, I wasn't confused. Like, I, I knew, you know, what was going on. I knew what was supposed to be you know, the focus of the movie. I knew all of these things. Even though I watched it out like two more times and I was still, you know, uncovering new things and finding stuff that I missed the first time, I still didn't feel like I was confused. I still didn't feel like I just didn't know what was going on. Y'all, with us, I didn't know what was happening. Like, you know, you can, if you're any ounce of woke, any ounce of consciousness, any ounce of conscious, you can, pretty much determine like what's going on overall. Like, okay, the doppelgangers, the tethers, the clones, you know what I'm saying? They were created and they're hooked up to the people on earth and they share a soul, but like it's, they're living the same life, but you know, it's a lower grade of life. Like, okay, we can get that. We understand that. Um, some people say that they like that he didn't go into detail about like who made the clones. Um, who controls them or you know, whatever like that who put them down there um, I don't know if I personally agree with I like that he didn't really delve too much into that I can appreciate it, but I don't know if I so much agree with it I think because we all pretty much know like the government did it You know like we all pretty much know that the government did it, but I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know I don't know, once again, like I'm confused. I don't know if I want to know or if I don't want to know. I think because I know I'm okay with him not knowing, you know? Like who else, who else did it? A lot of people missed the part when she said that the clones, the tethers eat the rabbits. And everybody was like, what are the rabbits for? What are the rabbits for? I'm like, she said that the tethers had to eat the rabbits. Like while they enjoy, you know, good food, like they had to feed on flesh. I'm like, y'all, y'all weren't listening. Um, so the, I got the rabbit part. And then like the whole thing, like rabbits, like testing, you know, whenever you think of like rabbits or, you know, uh, rodents in a lab or anything, you think of like cloning and you think of testing on animals and testing on animals. So like I, I made that correlation as well. Um, and a lot of people didn't make that like the rabbits, the rabbits, I'm like, open your mind, like testing, testing on animals and testing on, you know what I'm saying? They're testers, they're testing things out on them because they, they look at them like they're nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I got that part. Um, let me talk about these outfits, baby. These jump, these red jumpsuits, I'm like, are they slaying me in these red jumpsuits? I think they kind of are. Like it took me back to high school with like the dicky outfit. <laughs> 
it took me back to high school with the dicky outfits. I was like, come on. Like, all y'all gotta do is spray paint them and we'll be back in the 2000s, honey. I was like, yes. Their sandals, I did not hate their sandals. I was like, that, that could be my go-to summer sandal, child. I need to know where they got those from. Those scissors were nice. I would love a pair for my house. Child could cut anything, honey. Those gloves look like the gloves I used in marching band. So. <laughs> I'm getting my life from these outfits, y'all. I loved how they were all matching. Like, it wasn't a hair out of place, honey. All of them were together. All of them, they was looking like they was at a probate. I'm <laughs> like, what are y'all finna cross? <laughs> what are y'all finna cross, honey? Like, yes, you know, tether by tether. What are y'all doing? That was funny. I mean, honestly, you guys, I, I enjoyed it. Oh, and like the part where the little boy like backed up and like the other tether little boy backed up and then like they made that correlation so i'm thinking like okay but at that part like the little girl tether was dead and then the guy tether was dead so the only tether that was left was lupita's so i'm like okay i get it you know what i'm saying they it, everybody else's tether was dead so there was no reason to you know, for them to figure nothing out. It's like, okay, so we just gotta get Lupita's teller or whatever. So, that little boy is so adorable, y'all. Like, he is adorable, those little ears and his little teeth. I'm like, you're so cute. Little girl, honey, she was slamming me too. Love her. All that chocolate, let's just, okay. All of the chocolate, melanated realness on the whole uh, uh, team. Honey, I was living for Miss Chocolate Lupita, living for Mr. Chocolate Winston Duke, honey, living for little, Chocolate Little Girl, Chocolate Little Boy, and I forgot their names. I, I swear I watched the interview with them and I, I swear I forgot their name, but I, I was living for all the melanin, honey, yes. And the little boy, like looking at Lupita at the end, like, girl, no ma'am. <laughs> he was looking at her like, no ma'am. He was looking at her like, honey, listen, Nothing's gonna be the same, okay? Nothing was the same no more. He was looking at her like, and he was like, honey, I might have to take you out, mom. I might have to take you out, cause this, no, 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 this is not what we finna do. Mm -mm. <laughs> he was like, that's I ain't right. And I was thinking, I'm like, maybe the real Lupita um, told him something, or maybe the fact that, he, I, I think maybe, here's my theory, the real Lupita hid him so he would be safe so he wouldn't have to see what was gonna happen um and i think him like okay so she took me and she probably told him something or you know when she hid him in that locker um to keep him safe i feel like he made the connection like okay what's really going on you know what i'm saying like i think something like that happened between them i think they probably had a connection or whatever and now that's why he's looking like okay you you're my real mom but you like the bad lupita you know what i'm saying like you my real mom but i think she was supposed to be my real mom you know what i'm saying so i want to go with her that was crazy and when the tether the real tether killed lupita and you could tell like when she was choking her like you could tell something wasn't right you could tell like she was getting too much enjoyment out of it i'm like uh-oh, uh-oh. And I just knew from then, I'm like, okay, so she's she's the real tether, she actually got her, and then they showed us and was like, yep, yeah, she actually did it or whatever. I'm like, oh, Lord. Um, but they said it, they, they said it. They was like, she was the one that was going to uh, bring them up or whatever, you know, and, and start this whole thing. They said that in the movie, um, and she did. You know, she was the, the real tether that went to not to earth but you know went above the surface and you know started this whole movement and made it possible for all the other tethers to come out you know and slay and they probate outfits it uh, it was a great movie um directed very well uh music was on point the acting was on point um i i truly enjoyed it even though there were lots of pieces that i i'm still kind of confused on um, I enjoyed it. I just, I love me some Jordan Peele. He can do no wrong to me, for me. Um, he, he just can't. He can do no wrong. Um, I, and I just love the fact that he's really shining a light on melanated, you know, actors and actresses. I, I love it. I love it, you know. And he said that he's going to make sure that his focus in his movies are going to be um, you know, African American people, and I love it. I love it. I love it, you know, because so, so long we've had to just claw our way from the very bottom to get to where, you know, um, 
to get to success, you know what I'm saying? And we have lots of successful black actors and actresses, but some of them, the roles that they've had to play, you know, the tap dancing that they've had to do, the coon dancing that they've had to do, you know what I'm saying? The sambo and they've had to do, honey. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know? And they've had to do those roles for a while before they can even, you know, go on and you know, uh, act in roles that don't involve them having to do that. You know, a lot of them have not had to, but a lot of them also have. And I can't wait to see what else he is going to give us. Um, it was amazing, it's, it was amazing. Jordan Peele, because he's a black director, you're gonna get 100. I don't care, you get 100 on my scale. Um, you get a hundred across the board because of what you're doing for um, black black cinema and we love it. We appreciate you, Jordan. Thank you so much. And um, we can't wait to see, you know, what else you're gonna bring to the big screen, you know? And I'm always gonna support it. I'm always gonna watch it. Even if he confuses me as if he could even more than what he did with us, honey, I'm, I'm gonna watch his support. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Let me know if you've seen it. Let me know if you haven't seen it. Let me know if you don't even wanna see it because it's just too much. Um, let me know down below. And so, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will see you guys in, oh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.